What I would advise people when uh, going through changes or preparing to make a transition um, is to be mindful that change can come at any time. So being real about that reality is that life will happen. Um, and no matter how good we might have it in one season, um, we should always loosely um, hold um, or, 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 or unloosen our hands or uncling from some of the some of the things that we cling to to look for security in this world so doors are always opening um, and great opportunities are all you know they're present um, but keep in mind that change is inevitable um, and um, if you're looking to transition or for whatever your reasons are is to make sure your motivations are right um, and that you have really truly sought out the Father in um, understanding whether or not this change is related to uh, maybe uh, a prompting from Him to change, to move, um, but get to the heart of why. Is, is it money? Um, is it, you know, maybe the workplace um, that you're currently in um, isn't providing you the culture that you need to succeed? I think sometimes our motivations are hidden and so uh, we don't allow for the opportunity to um, really deal with, with us. And so it becomes uh, other people. Um, and so we make decisions based off of, um, again, just we're not happy, but it's because of somebody else. When it's just really maybe there's some things that God needs to do on the inside of us. So be real about change. And then also be mindful of your motivations as to why you're transitioning. Matthew 6.33 says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things will be added. I think one of, the, one of the greatest blessings to my journey with God has been learning how to enter His rest and trust, um, His word and His promises. And if I do the main thing, um, that God does take care of us. So I would highly encourage people to seek first God's kingdom and His righteousness, because again, it'll, it'll deal with our, our true motivations as to why, um, or it would also, it'll comfort us in hard times or hard transitions um, and give us our hope and our true future. Because I think sometimes we don't realize how we have allowed uh, maybe certain work um, environments or our tenure in certain places to really truly become hope for us and our security and um, I think it really truly resets us and don't miss the opportunity to experience God in that I think one of or we have such an opportunity um, in our suffering because those moments can be very hard and and trivial and um, and disappointing but God is at work y'all um, in us during those times and season seasons so don't miss miss that. Don't miss seeing God. Be God. Take care of you. Be your strength. Comfort you. Supply for you because he will do that. And then set your heart on things above and allow the hope you have in him to carry you through that season and allow his glory to be manifested through your life. You're growing. You're maturing. Um, and those types of changes and transitions can bring that about um, in, a, in a, some very rich ways.